The University of the Philippines Fighting Maroons has produced a lot of familiar names in the basketball scene to date. Among those include Juan Gomez de Liano, Carl Tamayo, and Joel Cagulangan. Veteran coach Bo Perezol, a competitive player during his heyday, marvels at the progress of these players. He weighs in on the career of these players in this PTV Sports exclusive. Dolrich Bo Perezol needs no introduction. He continues to be involved with the UP Fighting Maroons, serving as the first ever program director of the UP men's basketball team. Under his watch, several players made their mark in the local basketball scene. Among the names that come to mind include Juan Gomez de Leano, Carl Tamayo, and J.D. Cagulangan. The veteran coach weighs in on these three players in this PTV Sports exclusive. Juan Gomez de Leano prides himself being one of the rare Filipinos ever to play in the European circuit. Coach Bo Perasol believes he deserves it, one of the highs of his colorful basketball career. Wait, Juan, when uh, he was uh, playing for our program, you know, alam mo naman talaga, everybody uh, saw what he can do, the talent that he had, the gifts that he had, and he still has. You know, ang, ang, ang gusto ko sa na-experience ni Juan was that uh, nagkaroon siya ng high, you know, but after after nung Japan uh, experience niya, bumaba din siya, you know? But the good thing about Juan was he, he remained positive, you know? Yun yung, yung, yung pagiging fighter niya within uh, at yung confidence niya sa sarili niya na hindi nawala, you know? Because he knew at the beginning na he had this God-given uh, talent or gift na meron talaga siya, kakaiba. He knew that uh, he, he needed to to use this talent no? and uh, nagkaroon ng opportunity again. Yung, yung Europe uh, um, opportunity niya, right after we played in the championship, that that was there also. No? So, nagkaroon lang yan ng, uh, ng uh, uh, hitch kasi because of the pandemic. No? Uh, but then again, when he was given the chance, um, uh, he took it and he's, he's doing well. No? So, again, it was the up, the down, and the up again, you know. So, um, I, I, I always remain, uh, if you have that spirit within you, uh, nothing could take that away. The 50-year-old coach shared his thoughts on top college star Carl Tamayo as well. He believes that the 21-year-old still has unlocked potential that hoop fans have yet to see. Napakarami na sinabi kasi kay Carl, no? Um, ang pinaka ang pinaka prominent na sinasabi sa kanila is yung generational player, no? Uh, na dumarating yon every once in a while in every generation, no? Na lamang in terms of yung yung physical ability, yung skill sets, yung talent, no? Yung gifts na meron siya. And uh, this hindi pa hindi pa natatouch ni ni Carl yung kanyang potential no napaka napaka pakalayo pa ng pwede niyang abutin no? uh, we're just fortunate to have him in our program and of course si coach gold being able to hone him to the kind of player that he is right now but then again as i'm saying malayo pa yung potential ni Carl no? uh, to absorb more learning to listen uh, yun yung importante sa kanya no? With, with, with those kinds of attitude, uh, the important part of that is that he's just going to grow some more and be better. Another player who has proven his worth with the Fighting Maroons is JD Cagulangan. Coach Perasol marvels at how the 21-year-old guard went through the highs and lows before finding his identity in the college ranks. Oh, JD, yeah. As I, I, I'm sure uh, everybody knows this, that uh, when, when he was uh, in third year high school, Salazar Green Hills, I was already recruiting him. No? But he really chose and, and he made the decision to really go to Lasal. And just, it's just right, no? coming from Lasal Green Hills. Yun talaga ang nararamdaman niya. No? I just made my pitch because I wanted him to be part of our program. No? So he really wanted, it, it was his personal choice actually. Na, uh, he told me na coach I really wanted ever since gusto niya talaga ambition niya pumas pumunta ng Lasal, you know. Uh, but then again, situation uh, became different when when he was there, and uh, we eventually agreed. Na sabi niya, oh, maybe 
uh, his uh, his talents will be needed dito sa UP naman no uh, when the, the, when when it happened and he finally played uh, that was really dramatic no yung yung kanyang yung kanyang uh, yung turnaround ng kanyang career kasi uh, yung kanyang playing uh, playing experience from from being down you know, not being used to the hero of that uh, championship run for the UP Fighting Maroons no? so malaking lesson yung yung buhay niya eh no? basta hindi lang mag-quit hindi lang sumurrender uh, a lot of good things are still going to happen